Maybe if you had a, if you kinked it in a certain way or you, you'd use right angles in a, a different way, maybe. I don't think so, but I had to think through that. I didn't prepare that bit. Definitely if you self-intersect, you're in, you can create loops. Um, there's one little bit I was going to add to this. If we were going to do this on the surface of the earth, we could actually probably create a loop which would cut the surface area of the earth into equal parts and not have antipodal points. The reason why is kind of because the earth is not a perfect sphere, it doesn't matter, it's spherical, but it's more because it's rough. So what we could do is, returning to, returning to this map here, imagine if instead of having, instead of doing the equator, Imagine we did a line just under the equator, just under. Now that wouldn't have antipodal points because the equator has antipodal points, that wouldn't. But all that surface area between that line just under the equator and the equator itself, imagine if we were able to put that all on top of a mountain. So we had a little mountain right there and the mountain and the slopes of that mountain had the, the area that was missing from the other strip. We could create a line around and then we could loop around the mountain and the mountain bit that's sticking up actually contains all the surface area that the flat bit doesn't. And that would be, uh, that would be contradicting what I'm claiming. But see, the thing is, with a perfect sphere, you can't do that. And, and it really comes down to the fact that a sphere is perfectly symmetrical, infinitely symmetrical. And because of that, it dictates exactly the type of loops you're allowed to put onto the surface if you're cutting into two equal areas.